An invasive and destructive insect continues to grow in our region. Now, new research at Penn State aims to make a difference in the fight against a spotted lanternfly. Irvin Hinckley explains how it could lead to a natural way of dealing with the pest. He joins us now live. Evan. Yeah, good evening, Amanda. The spotted lanternfly is originally from Asia, so now predators here that could be predators like birds and insects, they find the insect, the spotted lanternfly, new and unusual. But scientists at Penn State say that birds and insects could actually develop a taste and appetite for the spotted lanternfly. <laughs> The spotted lanternfly is estimated to cost Pennsylvania's economy $325 million and close to 3,000 jobs. Penn State researchers say an insecticide is not enough to stop the fly. Can we find natural enemies, and I think we can, that we can beef up the populations and get some biological control going. A key predator could be birds. There are birds that have been observed and photographs taken. Uh, that eat spotted lanternflies, whether these are naive birds that have never seen them before, or if they have experience and so they know how to go about eating them. Researchers are receiving pictures like these, showing all kinds of birds feeding on the fly, including goldfinches and woodpeckers. Scientists need the public's help to gather more snapshots and videos to learn more about which birds have a taste for the fly. There are some birds that are more adventurous than others. <laughs> <laughs> and um, and they learn from each other. So it may be that, that birds that are a little bit more adventurous will go ahead and grab one and eat it, and another bird observes this, and if they don't drop dead or spit it up or something, then they may try it as, as well. And beyond birds, a future study here at Penn State will look into insects like spiders, praying mantises, or something called an assassin bud, which apparently Amanda has developed quite an affinity in terms of taste for the spotted lanternfly. That study will take place in the coming months as well. Reporting live here in State College, Evan Hakeley, WTAJ News.